about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be like Join me as we go to the Run Disney Springtime Surprise Yoga and Expo together. Let's get it started. Let's get what started. Let's get it started, yeah. Remember Black Eyed Peas? All right, let's go. Well, you know how we do. I gotta show you my setup. It's the night before, it's about seven. I'm heading, winding down for the night. I've got just the one bed in this room, so I've got everything in its packing cube and just ready to go in there. For yoga, I'm not, whatever. You know, it's gonna be fine. So I got my outfit and all of its glory there, even down to, um, a sweatshirt, coordinating sweatshirt, of course. So that's tucked away, but it's ready to go. My little camera is still charging for tomorrow, but I have, before I pack, I'm gonna pack up this bag right now so it's ready, but I just wanted to show you. I am bringing a backpack with me, like a full backpack. Uh, and this, for the expo, cause I re realized that I just wanted to be able to put put things in like a backpack instead of carry around a tote bag with all the like gray shirts and everything um so i have this bag and i'm bringing with me um this is my little travel run disney bits and bobs you know like hairbrush lip balm a uh, reusable bag i always bring with me whenever i go anywhere basically sunglasses my wallet my run club run disney card which you never seem to need but whatever an umbrella I have my AirPods. Ooh, I'm gonna pop one of my disposable uh, ponchos in here too. I just thought of that. Car keys. And then this has an outfit to change into. It's supposed to be pretty sticky and hot. So I brought just shorts and a t-shirt to wear. Cause I just have a feeling I'm not gonna be wanting to wear really hot pink leggings if it's hot. I don't know why the pink makes a difference, but it does. Just leggings period when it's really hot. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna pack all that in the bag, plus the poncho, and be ready to go. Good morning. It's 3.30. It's 3.30 a.m. Come on, Barty, let's go party. <laughs> I couldn't help it, all right. How do you get that out of my system? Um, yeah, I'm bound in Barbie from Toy Story today. This is my crowned little outfit, it's super cute. This is, um, you know, Pushing the boundaries for me a little bit and what I'm willing to wear in public. <laughs> but I've been making a lot of progress on um, my self-confidence and body acceptance and body positivity even. And um, so yeah, I'm going for it. But super cute. The, the top is from Crowned. The coordinating pieces are from Lululemon and Ears. The fabulous Barbie pink ears are from BB Brock, and they are so stinking cute. Um, I also brought my Marathon Weekend Spirit jersey, because look how the colors match. And I don't think it's going to be cool enough to wear it, but I'm going to kind of bring it with me as a security blanket, even just to tie around my waist to feel a little bit <laughs> less exposed. But uh, this is actually um, really positive step forward for me and to embrace wearing something quite this flaunting I would say um out, out. so I am definitely celebrating that for sure and uh I'm excited so we're going to do yoga and um let's go good morning from another par parking lot today it's Hollywood Studios I have never thought I could park this Close in Hollywood Studios, basically like the accessible parking, which is really nice. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And it's just after four, so I'm gonna go get in line. I'm sure there's there's always a line to check in, but I'm real excited. Never done this before. Yoga at Hollywood Studios. All of our best guesses that it's in front of the Chinese theater, and it's not raining. At least not now. So we're gonna call that a win. <laughs> have some fun. Uh, I'll flip you around in a second because I'm looking at the entrance to Hollywood Studios, which is uh, just nostalgic in so many ways. Hi, 
There she is. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Here we go. Goes through security. Just like always. <gasps> oh, it's so exciting. Check in with your pass and your ID, and then they give you a wristband. So they're not letting people in just yet. Here's the food. They have us all in a line, and then we're going to go in over there. <laughs> Yay! because this is awesome. It's our Run Disney Springtime Surprise Yoga for the first time ever here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Dana Brady and her favorite deputy, Adam. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Run Disney Springtime Surprise Yoga in Disney's Hollywood Studios. On behalf of Dana, myself, and our fellow instructors, we are so honored and excited to be joining with you in this amazing experience. Julie and Julie and Heather who are out here among you guys demonstrating. Um, we want to thank our amazing cast members. What did you think of those little hidden Mickeys on your yoga mats this morning? So thank you for our cast members. Wonderful world of animation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
That was so fun. It's really loud right here. I'm not gonna talk right here. That was so, so fun. Such a vibe. I'll talk about it more in the hotel. That was scary lighting. We'll talk about it more in the hotel room. But um, oh my gosh, such a vibe. Such a great vibe. What a wonderful morning. We are here. It is early, it is beautiful, and there's already a line. It's seven. Walking up. Hello. Oh, we made it to the steps. Okay, the bag, I'll show you later. All the shirts. Where do you see the bag? It's very cute. It looks like that. It's very cute. It's not even eight and we're heading down. I'm not sure if they're letting us in in or if they're just shuttling us down to the waiting area. But here we go. Now this is the usual holding area. But uh, we'll see when they let us into to the shopping. But there's like, I don't know, 40 people ahead of me. Not too, not too bad. Let us in a little early. Here we go. Wow, it's so colorful. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go. photo. Let's see if I can find somebody who's willing to take my picture. Oh, the 10 milers cute. Look at these. Carriages aren't here yet, but it's real exciting. Look at the cute little sign. Check them out. Dory. Nemo. What's it? I can't remember the father's name. Cute. So that's where I just was. That's where Club on Disney headquarters are. I'm heading to the car now to put some stuff down. And uh, got about half an hour till the other buildings open. So we go get coffee number two. Here we are. Oh, it, it's starting to get cloudy, which makes me a little bit nervous. We're just gonna walk right past the signs because I don't want to look too closely at the metals. I don't like avoid them completely but I try not to get like the details. Anyway we're heading in. I'm excited. Except it's still another half an hour. Oops. Alright it's opened up and going in. I really hope they have goo. <laughs> I love the um, details on the signs and everything for this event. Awesome. All right, let's have a look. Always looks so exciting. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Al infinito y más Interestingly, they're showing the marathon medals from last season. No spoilers? Oh, this is the medals for this one. No spoiler medals. That's un that's unfortunate. Alright, well let's see what we can see. There's lots of folks here. Make a wish. 
Pro Compression, Go Go Squeeze, Avent Health, always one of their big sponsors. Let's take a look. These are really cute shirts. Very cute. Here's the UFOs. This is what I, where I bought them. Um, Sparkle coming in with the themes. Very cute. Very cute. Ultra is here at Marathon Weekend. That was exciting. Oh, I feel like this place has good headbands. I remember. I remember that. All the sunglasses. Oh yeah, these are so fun. Add a pocket. That's cute. Oh, I went to this booth before. They had um, the teleties. Good all the gooders. These hats. Okay. I don't. See goo. See a lot of noon. Hmm. Maybe fit to run has it. Exactly what we need. Okay, Corsicle coming in hot with the Mickey with the Mickey um, water bottle bag. That is too cute. It's too cute. I love that. They've got such cute things. Um, I bought some goo, so that's good. Gotta find Brooks booth. That'll be exciting. There's DVC. Meanwhile, I've been trying to buy the annual pass since it opened up this morning. Not having any luck. We made it to Brooks booth. But she's got a little beading station. How cute. The rug came back. We're very excited about that. And got all of, oh, she did a really nice job upgrading her She's got clips this time. Her hat's really cute. She's got all of her little band buttons. Search oh, that one didn't work that time. And all the band buttons and the new, what are we calling these? Band sliders. Sliders. Very, very cute. She's got a new jewelry display. Okay, you guys. I know this is like total whining about first world problems. And I apologize. But can we just talk about how... The Disney Q system is just horrible. So I've been sitting on this page since 9.05 a.m. after trying and for three hours unsuccessfully to get the page to load at all. And then I was like, hmm, just now I was like, maybe I should open another browser and try and see if it's, and now it's working on the other browser. But I've been on that other page for like over an hour. Ah, it's okay. All right, you guys know the sweaty bands are so cute. I have run in them before. They stay on great, and I have the world's smallest head and most slippery hair, um, but they're so cute. I especially really love these, like, really rhinestone-y ones because they're extra glittery. Lots of goo. I could have gotten goo everywhere. What's this goo jet? Oh, I think it's just a flower a flavor. I got these stickers ask this sometimes they do have pacing groups they are people with like holding sticks and they have them for all different kinds of paces so that's always a good thing to know in advance and also there's the man himself mr jeff galloway the man do have nice big big boards with the uh, course maps on them these of course are available in the event guide but it's nice to see them blown up i'm most excited about the 10k course because you go through so much of Hollywood Studios. All right, that was fun. I got what I wanted, and I got to see Brooks booth and say hello to her real quick. And I, I just love this. It's so fun. Anyway, I'm heading out. I'll talk to you outside. We will do our best. The update you didn't know you wanted, but you're getting anyway. Down to 18 minutes in the queue. <sighs> Just, you know, we're getting there. 16 minutes, yay. Also, I'm like super de duper caffeinated because I got a chai from Starbucks between this yoga and this. Drank the whole thing. That has caffeine in it. Not as much as coffee, but caffeine. And then I got an iced mocha from Joffrey's while I was waiting between um, run Disney merch and uh, what's it? <sighs> so, very caffeinated. You're probably gonna tell. Okay, it's 1040. I'm heading out. It's a wonderful morning. I'm just so happy. I'm always so happy when I'm here. It feels good. Anyway, uh, 10 minutes now. I'm wondering if I get the pass holder 
it, does it go into effect right away? Can I go in and get the pass holder merch? <laughs> just what I need, more merch. I don't know, we'll see. I might wait just this 10 minutes and see what happens, but uh, I'm excited. This is such a good day. It's a beautiful out. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna do some stuff, but I will eventually come back and show you everything I got and show you the shirts and all of that and talk a little bit more about yoga in the morning. Really fun morning. Hello, I have returned. It's going on one. And I did some stuff after the expo, but I wanted to come back and not only share with you the things that were acquired today, uh, but also talk a little bit more about my experience uh, because I really don't even know what I filmed. I was so excited. It was, I was like hyped this morning. I still feel hyped. I also had quite a bit of caffeine <laughs> today already, uh, but it was, it was wonderful. It was so chill yoga, um, the whole experience, even like the mood. I mean, I love the yoga at the castle. It is just a little bit more excited energy, I feel like. Not that people aren't excited, but it's just like people are more like anxious, I think, about getting like a good spot. They're all good spots, by the way. You don't have to worry. Um, and there's none of that. None of that this morning. It felt very low key in just the most beautiful way. It was a beautiful morning. The weather was perfect. It did not rain and there was a little breeze and it was all borderline chilly. So that worked out great. Uh, and it was just lovely. Um, the sequence is very similar to what they have done previous yogas that I've gone to, you know, run Disney runs. Very, very easy peasy. It's really just like a gentle stretch. I wouldn't even call it a flow. Uh, so it's really accessible to any level of yogi, I would say. You don't even have ever had to practice before because they don't like say the Sanskrit names or anything. They just, they break it down for you in plain English and it's easy to understand and to follow along. So 10 out of 10 recommend. I really enjoyed being at Hollywood Studios. It was just so fun to be there so early and have that. I mean, the castle is magic and you cannot replace that. But this was a fun alternative. I love that they brought in the Pixar characters, that they had the up characters there. They had Russell and um, Frank. Is it, why am I blanking on his name? And Doug the dog. I'm like a little, like, should I wear my Doug costume? I don't know. I was very happy with my outfit. But, uh, and then they had, at the front when you were walking in, and then they had some of the characters from Monsters, Inc. Also as you were walking in, and then at the front they had Woody and Mike Wazowski, like before the yoga, and then afterwards they brought out um, a whole bunch of characters. Some of the Incredibles, Frozone, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, uh, what's her name? Blanking on the woman from the, uh, blanking on her name. I just watched that movie. With the glasses, doesn't she have glasses? Anyway, and um, Sully and Mike Wazowski and Bo Peep as well as uh, Woody. Um, and they had them up on the little like platform and you could take pictures with them after. Surprisingly, I guess it was part of the surprise was they showed us a show. I forget what they called it, the animation of Walt Disney. I think, it's Walt, something like that. It was like a projection across the Chinese theater buildings with some little fireworks too. And it was, oh, that was cool. I'd never seen that before. So that was really fun. Um, an interesting tidbit that happened. This never happened to me before. I don't, I don't think that that's surprising, but a person came over to my mat, like before the, um, lots of people came to my mat. It was fun to say hello to you. So thank you. You said hello. Um, but a person came to my mat um, like a Disney person and I like my first reaction my first instinct was like oh my trouble am I not because I'm like you know filming with my little cameras and things and um, I'm like oh my god am I in trouble and she's she was from I don't know what she was from I, I was kind of bewildered marketing or something and she asked me if I wanted to be like moved to this reserved place in the front where they were going to be taking promotional videos and photographs of people practicing and um, I politely declined because uh, that terrifies me, which is ironic considering what I do for a living. But um, I thought that was cool that they 
reach out to people in the crowd and it's not just like they hire actors. I'm sure they hire actors sometimes and like models and people to do this sort of thing. But I thought that was really neat that they reached out to people in the crowd for that. So I just thought I'd share that. Um, and then um, drove to the expo, got some Starbucks, of course, hung out there, was there super early, um, like almost a full hour. Yeah, definitely a full hour before they opened. But it was all good. I got to chat with some folks in line and, and it went by really quickly and they actually let us in early, which they have, I don't remember them letting us in early before. So that was really nice. Uh, we got to get in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes early to, then this is Club Run Disney Platinum. They usually open up at eight. They let us in a little early. It was much faster to get the, um, the this bag. Of all the things I'm going to show you, actually I'll pull it up and show you right now, um, that it was for me a princess when I was a little bit later. I came right at 8 and it took me 35 minutes to get to the desk to get my things. Today I had my things by like 10 to 8. And then they didn't open, they, they sh shuttled us all over to the uh, place where you wait in the arena. I don't know what they call it, but like the holding area. Um, and they did start letting us in just slightly before 8.30, which is when it opened to buy them. Um, but that was nice to be able to sit inside in the air conditioning and just like chill. Okay, so Club Run Disney Platinum Level, I mentioned that this is very exactly the same to what they have given me the other times that I've been. Um, a bag with everything in it, which is nice. So you don't have to go to the separate building to get your bib and then the other building to get your shirts. If you're in Club Run Disney, they put it all in a nice bag for you. They give you this wonderful uh, little rubber luggage tag. Yep, because you can just take the sticker off and use it as a luggage tag. And it has my name and my size and my bib number. One bib, three races. It's a very cute bib and I really like it. It's so cute. I just wish they would give us a fresh one for each race. I just, I'm gonna say it, I do. But I'm very excited about that. And then the only other thing in there is the race check, gear check bag. So if you do gear check on race day, you have to use this bag and you only get one. So you gotta reuse it every day. And I don't know, you have to follow the directions and like put your info on it. Um, interestingly, I don't think they've given safety pins at Club Run Disney in the last couple of events. I've used bib boards now, so it's fine, but like that surprises me a little bit. Okay, so let's put this away and I will show you the shirts. So because I'm doing the challenge, I get four shirts, one for each of the three races and then one for the challenge itself. Okay, so let's go in order. We have 5K. So see, it feels this, like the same material and weight from the last iteration of races. Um, it's their own branding. They took the 50th off. Didn't Do not have any Disney 100 branding on there, which I think is interesting. Sponsors on the back, they all look pretty similar to sponsors we're used to seeing from Disney. Um, I get the medium. I find they fit very comfortably. And I like the shirts. I wear them um, the whole day after the races and then I have them in a nice drawer all together at home. Um, here's 10K. So cute, Sully. I love that movie. Can't convince my kids to watch it yet, but we will get there. This one, which is actually kind of a really light gray. Um, really, really neat. And then the challenge shirt with the uh, Dory and what is Nemo's father's name? I do not know. <laughs> anyway, so got all that. Seamless, easy. No free cookies this time. It's okay. I've heard they're terrible. I I picked them up a couple times and I just never eat them. Never get around to eating them. But I've heard they're not that good. So <laughs> I guess it's no big loss. Okay, so what I bought at March. It was so calm. This is definitely the calmest like shopping and expo experience I've ever had. It, it, it was the same amount of people as it was for the Club Run Disney early entry as I remember for Princess, maybe slightly less people than for um, Marathon Weekend, but it was just like the first like 10 minutes was a little bit, you know, you could feel the excitement in the air and then it just got real quiet before they opened it up to other 
tiers of Run, uh, Club Run Disney, it was just real quiet and calm and just like, la -di da It's just such, it's like night and day from what I remember from you, uh, previous races. Anyway, I had pre-purchased some things. I had no idea what I had pre-purchased. A very nice person um, showed me where I could see that for future. Um, since then, I have, all the races that I registered for since, I have not pre-purchased anything. Um, I think pre-purchase is great if you don't have Club Run Disney um, or you are worried about the virtual queue and not getting in on the earlier side or if you're not going to be early to the expo like if you're going to be not be there in the morning that it opens it's a really nice option to ensure you get some of your favorite things and i've noticed that they're adding more and more stuff um, with each subsequent race like lounge flies and different shirts and different pins and things like that so i decided not to pre-purchase things anymore because with club run disney and i tend to um, arrange my travel so I'm there for when the expo opens and I can get there for the early Club Run Disney perk. Um, I'd much rather just see the things in person before I pay for them. I'm sure you could probably return them if you wanted, but I did it for this time because I was, that was before I'd really figured out how the Club Run Disney thing worked out for me, um, and it's fine. So I got the Spirit jersey, this I had prepaid for, but it's the same one that they had. Really cute. Um, I think this is a darling, actually. I wasn't sure about it in the pictures because it looks kind of busy, but I think it's really fun. I like my spirit jerseys in a medium because I like them to be really, really big. Um, that's just me. They look funny on me regardless of what size they are, but I find the medium works the best. Oh, this is fun. This is like this raised puffy stuff. I'm going to hide my face so it hopefully focuses on that. Nope, it's still focusing on my face even though it's not there. That's fun. So that's fun. And then I had pre-purchase for this bundle, I usually only buy the metal pin because I'm just not a pin person usually, um, but they didn't have that available for pre-purchase individually. And like I said, I had done all of this when registration was, whenever that was last year, before I kind of figured out how the Club Run Disney thing would work where I didn't really need this. The, the spirit jersey and the metal pin are the two things that I want every time, and the shoe ornament if available. I haven't noticed that on pre-purchase, but, um, so I have the other two pins. It's fine. Um, they're cute. It was like a bundle. They had all these different bundles. Ooh, what does this pin do? I, oh, it's an I did it pin. Well, that feels a little like I haven't done it yet. Um, the metal, challenge metal pins. I don't want to look too closely at it because I kind of want to leave some of the details of the metal to be a surprise. I know the general gist, but, um, and then this, this little guy. Super cute. I might put that on my um, fanny pack right now. Anyway, so those are the things that I had pre-purchased. Like I said, with Club Run Disney, I don't think it's necessary based on what I just told you, but it is a nice thing to have available to you if you're not coming in early or if you're worried at all about getting your favorite things. So I think that's really nice. Okay, I did buy some things. I did the aforementioned shoe ornament. You know I had to have it. I've got quite the collection now, just from like this year, this season alone. They've done shoe ornaments for every race this season, um, and they didn't for last season, so I'm excited about that. I got the ears. I know, their ears are funny, but to me it's just kind of part of the, part of the experience, and I have, at least so far, left my Run Disney ears in my owner's locker, um, which stays here in Orlando when I'm not here, and with the thought that there'd be ears that I wear for subsequent, when I'm back for subsequent races, and pack less ears, right? That's the thought, at least. And then I bought a couple of shirts and a jacket. So they changed the tank design. They For the past couple of race weekends, they've had this like high neck, um, kind of like a muscle tank design for their um, purchase options. They have more of a traditional tank. I thought that was really nice. I like this mesh detailing in the back. Now it says Run Disney. I like the purple. I think it's interesting. I did buy a small. I have not tried them on. They look like they're going to be a bit um, more form-fitting. Where did that other shirt go? It's in the bag. Okay. And then I got this. This is more of like a muscle tank kind of style, but it's a lower neck. I thought this was really cute. 
Um, I really like the back scoop out detail. I thought that was really nice. It's a really nice color. Now I wear these to run in. I have been wearing them. Um, I leave some in my owner's locker to wear when I'm here. Some I take home and I, you know, I can swap out every time I'm back to see what, which ones I want to take home, which ones I want to leave here. Uh, but I really like this and I'm excited to wear it. Actually, I might wear this on Sunday instead of my, um, when I go to the parks to do like metal photos and stuff instead of my challenge shirt just because it's hot and it's nice to have a sh uh, sleeveless option. Anyway, really, really like those are the two shirts I bought. And then this was the sweatshirt. This was a last minute grab. I actually put a poll on Instagram. People were like, no, don't buy it. Did I buy it anyway? I did. It's a men's fit. So they call it unisex, but let's just call it what it is. It's a men's fit. Um, so it's really long, but I really like how subtle it is. It's, I mean, it's still like bright colors, but it's not like a big splashy back, especially when the hood is down. You can barely see that. I actually really like the yellow detailing on the little zipper there. I don't know. I just thought it was nice. And these, I leave here too, and I wear them after races. Uh, if it's chilly, around the parks and stuff. Um, again, like I said, some of the things stay in the owner's locker and some things come home with me and then I can flip things around when I'm back um, in November if I wanna bring other things home and leave other things here. It's all just in rotation. And if you're like, what the heck is the owner's locker? It's a storage box that I rent uh, here in Orlando. It's a service and a climate controlled storage facility and they deliver it to wherever you're staying, which is really nice. And then last, so this is interesting. I think I shared a little bit about this in the video. Um, I was trying, they finally opened up annual passes again for DVC members um, early this, today is April 13th. They're opening up to general public next week. They haven't been available for two years. And since I've returned to run Disney especially and coming to the parks at least five to six to more days with my kids every year too, it just made sense financially doing the math to purchase a pass just for me it doesn't really make sense with just a five to seven day um, for each kid uh, that does if I figured out it's like between nine to ten days if you go it makes sense and there's only a few blackout dates so my annual pass membership it was a long it was a typical Disney purchasing experience that is to say the site crashed and was broken for like four hours. But then I finally got it and I actually went back in to the merch tent. I got it as I was getting in my car to leave the expo. I was like completely done. And then I got the, got through and I got the pass and I went back in and I got this pin. Just to kind of come out, I'm, like I said, I'm not a big pin person, but look, this girl has pins all over her backpack. These I already have, this Club Run Disney one that they sent with um, registration. And this one I bought last time. This one, um, I just, just to kind of commemorate that, I got my annual pass on the day of the expo for Springtime Surprise. So that's the last little thing I got from the Run Disney March. Okay, so I did buy some things from the expo itself and I am just going to, they're too little to hold up, so I'm just gonna like talk you through what I bought, but I'll now do like a shot, a pan shot of everything I bought. From, what is it, Fit to Finish? Fit Finish. Now I can't remember the name of the store, which I just said over and over again this morning, but I knew that I wanted to stock up on goo, not only for this race, but it, I'm sure I'll have some left over and I can leave them in the owner's locker too. So I bought a whole bunch of goo. I've been experimenting, training with goo for the past training cycle and I like it. I just, I mean, I like the way like it works for me. I'm just not a big fan of the texture, but what I found if I get any of the ones that are like caramel or chocolate, then it kind of is the texture of that kind of sauce that you buy in the store, right? Um, and then I can kind of handle it better and I don't have like a weird texture taste thing. The fruity flavors don't work for me. They work for some people, they don't work for me. Um, and then I did get a body glide to leave out here, which that was on my list. The, they were handing out, uh, the Honey Stinger people were handing out these little fruit peas. This is a new product, it's kind of like a granola bar. And then I got some things from BB Brooke, of course. Her booth, her updated booth, this is her second go at the expo, it was so cute. They have like a full on jewelry case now. Really, really cute. So I got a bunchy to match a pair of ears that I recently bought from her. Um, and then I bought a whole bunch of 
band, I bought two band sliders and one band button and it was buy three get one free so I got, I knew I wanted the two band sliders and the dopey band button. I've been, I've been meaning to buy that and I just keep forgetting so I'm glad I waited because I got the free thing and I got the Rapunzel crown for free so that was, that was a good deal and that's everything. That's everything I bought, that's everything I did, that's everything I saw. Tomorrow's the 5K, I'm excited. We're going to just think good, clear sky thoughts about the weather holding out for us. And it was a good day. I want to say a special thank you to the folks who took the time to stop and say hello to me. It really means so much to me. I don't, I don't really know how to adequately say that, um, it really means a lot to me. So thank you. I really enjoyed meeting you. Special thanks to Lindsay, uh, one of my wanderers, one of my Patreon gals who um, took a really great photo of me. Um, a yoga photo that I'm going to be, it'll be like my Instagram photo. So thank you, Lindsay. Uh, and I just loved hearing her story and all of your stories about, I don't know, your Run Disney journey and, and how it, I don't know, how you found me and all that. And it's just, I love that. So Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, check back tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I'm running, but next week or whenever. This I don't know what the video posting schedule will be yet, but check back next time for the 5K. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard to think of. Anyways, I'm a little delirious. I woke up real early and I drink too much caffeine. All right, friends, thank you for watching. This was so fun. If you have any questions, let me know. Happy to answer, of course. And um, there's more to come. So stay tuned for more Run Disney fun. All right, you guys, take care. Happy running. Bye.